What is up, metalheads? Today I am going to show you how I go about painting this awesome Necron Overlord. I base coated it with Lead Belcher Spray, but just to show you what that color looks like. I also use in this contrast in Agaros Dunes, Reaper Master Series in pure black. That is a P3 color in Necrotite Green that I transferred to a dropper bottle. So don't get excited, ladies and gentlemen. It still comes in a pot. And then there is Vallejo Game Ink in green. I also use in this Citadel Known Oil. I buy it in bulk, ladies and gentlemen, and then I put it in these bigger flip-top bottles. You can purchase it either Hobby Lobby or Michaels. Don't forget to bring your 40% off coupon. On the basing, I used the Citadel Technical in Martian Iron Earth. It's a really great thin type of uh, cracked earth basing paint. I really like it. I also used Citadel Agrax Earthshade, the Frank's Red Hot of paint. Put that shit on everything. So yeah, so I like I said, I sprayed it with Lead Belcher after prepping it. So that's how it looks all around. You want to make sure to get in the crevices underneath. Make sure it's nice and evenly coated because that's seriously very important for this kind of model. So the brushes I use. There's two that I use in this tutorial. I am using Scale Color, Scale 75. That is their Kalinsky Sable Brush in a size 0. And then also I have my Raphael 8404 in a size 2, also a Kalinsky Sable brush. Figured it's nice to start with a nice clean palette, so I did that just for you. So let's put some colors up on this palette, shall we? Put some of that necrotite green for some glowy green goodness. Got to put some of that black. Now, just so that you're aware, this is a commission that was painted for a client. And this Necron color theme is, or color scheme, I should say, sorry, is based on House Sawtech, just so that you're aware. Got to put some Nolan Oil on down there. So this is what, this, you're going to see why I love these. See, instead of going straight out the pot, you can count how many drops you do right out of the bottle and everything. Agrax Earthshade, put some of that paint, Frank's Red Hot Shake Shake, there you go. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on this video. Contrast and Agros Dunes, I hope I said that name right, if I didn't I apologize. So this will give you a great example for those that are not familiar or on the fence about contrast paints. This is going, this color is going to show you an example of great ways that contrast paints can be used. Now what I'm using to thin it down, that's not the contrast thinner. This is a thinner mix that I like to use and I put in a dropper bottle. It's a mix of distilled water and Liquitex Flow Aid. And I have it in a big dropper bottle because I use it quite a bit. I use the butt of the brush to mix usually only because if you use the bristles of the brush then you end up putting paint built up in the ferrules first of all and then you can also ruin the bristles so just so you know a little brush care thing in case you're not aware alright so let's begin so how I begin this is I'm gonna start by putting some Nolan oil on all the lead belcher silver parts so you're gonna put some on the chest and it's gonna go on the legs and the arms
Now I'm getting ready to start painting in the black. This is the Reaper Master Series Black. Aw, oh, yes. Now it's time to get in on some of that glowy green goodness with P3 Necrotite Green. Make sure to get all those little globes and orbs and everything. Now we're going to go in with, this is the contrast paint in the Agarotes Dunes. Now this is the first coat. Keep that in mind. So what's going to happen is the first coat, you'll see some difference, but it's not exactly where I want it to be yet. So you, you will see in this video that I actually take about, I want to say, three coats to go over those parts. Be sure to catch us on Twitch if you're not following us already, especially if you like the interactive, interactive rather, experience with the tutorials. So you see I liberally go over that area Okay, this is now a second coat. 
that you are seeing me do with the necrotite green. Typically, three to five coats for a solid base coat is about standard. This is now the second coat of Agarote's Dunes. Now you will start seeing me do the lining detail into the grooves that are on the weapon, that scythe there that he's holding. Going in with a fine detail brush, making sure I have a good point, and gently going in.
going in doing another coat with that necrotite green that you're seeing there. And as always, the joys of acrylic painting, the back and forth and the cleanup. Doing another coat of black. In this section, what you're seeing me do is clean up. Just going back and forth, cleaning up lead belcher where needed, going back in with the black where needed. Since there was only small spots that I had to do with the lead belcher, that's why I went straight out of the pot. Nice and neat. Now I'm using the Agrax Earth Shade in order to do the wash, you know, putting the shading in at the base. And what that's going to do is that's going to help the little cracks in that Martian Iron Earth. It's going to help it stand out. And I continue the cleanup. And I'm also doing some edge highlighting there, as you can see on the rock and you're going to see me do some edge highlighting in some other black areas as well. So you might be wondering what that green ink by Vallejo is for. Well, it does magical things with that necrotite green for that glowy green goodness and helps it stand out even more. So what I do is I use the point of the brush there, I go in with that green ink and I just line it all around the edges of all the glowy green parts. So all around the edges of all the orbs. And 
put it around the edge of there. And what it does is it makes it look even more like it's glowing. And at the edges there, adds a really nice effect. And it's real easy to do. Now just something I was thinking of in regard to the glowing green also, just an FYI, if you decide you want to highlight that green more, you could always use a yellow. Don't use white because it won't look right. Use a yellow instead. So now I'm continuing on doing some cleanup, going in with Nolan Oil where needed. And you'll see me do a little other back and forth cleanup. really happy with how this is coming out if you guys are enjoying this tutorial there's other tutorials on the channel too so don't forget to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe so here's a color you definitely need in your life this is model air and chrome great for highlighting metallics So if you wanted to do a highlight for pretty much any metallic, you can mix it really well with other metallic colors and use it to highlight silver instead of using white, for example. So what I'm doing is I'm getting ready to dry brush on the silver parts of the body very lightly. All right, so now what you're getting ready to see me do is put the necrotite green in the chest area there. I do that as one of the last steps because the other steps before, it would have been a bunch of paint just going in there and ruining what I was doing. So I figured doing it was one of the last things was best. And then, of course, for that extra glowy look goodness, we go in on the edges with the green ink.
So now what you see me getting ready to do is highlight on the base. And what you're seeing there is a tan ochre by Vallejo. Now we gotta do the edges of the base. This is how I always do it. I use Badger Steino Res Primer in black and mix it with the Vallejo Matte Varnish. And what I found that it does, it gives that right nice shade of black, that right amount of matte, and it holds up well. Steino Res Primer, I cannot recommend it to you, any of you enough. It holds really well, works great on many different materials. I not only use Steino Res primer products on models, obviously, but also on my action figure customizations that I get commissioned as well. And usually about two to three coats fully covers the edges of the bases. Final cleanups, those are always good. And here's the finished product. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to check out our other tutorials and check us out on the web at metalheadminis.com for updates on also when we have classes coming up for the end of 2020 and for the year 2021.